Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cooking video. Um, I'm going to make chicken bacon ranch casserole. Now I've never had this recipe before. The one that I have had had noodles and stuff in it, but this one substitutes I think noodles for tater tots. So I'm going to show you all the ingredients that you need and then we're going to get to making. The first thing you're going to need of course is chicken. This recipe calls for four cups and I figured um, that chunk white chicken breast in water will be just fine. Um, so I got three cans of that. It's going to be a little bit more than what's called for, but three cans of the 12.5 ounce chicken breast. You'll also need bacon. I got the Smithfield fully cooked bacon that we're going to add on top here in just a little bit. Um, you'll see how we use that. You'll also need tater tots. Um, you need 32 ounces of tater tots. You also need ranch. This is from Aldi. Super cheap. Of course, pepper and salt. You'll also need milk. So we've got a whole gallon of milk. You don't need the whole gallon. You'll also need shredded cheese. I'm going to use Colby Jack. It calls for two cups, but I think I'm going to use a little bit more than two cups. And then you'll need flour and butter so let's move over to the stove and let's get everything started. all right first we are going to preheat our oven to 425 degrees make sure if you have any cast iron skillets or anything in the oven that you take those all right so i have a 9 by 13 pan and i've also got some cooking spray we're just going to spray the pan with a cooking spray. All right, in a saucepan over medium heat, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on medium. We're gonna take four tablespoons of butter. I just use the cheap butter and we're gonna cut it. And we're going to put that in our pan. Make sure your hands are clean. And you also want to add two tablespoons of flour to this and let this kind of melt in together. Now I'm rubbing the butter with my whisk all around the pot. That way it doesn't brown our flour. So I'm, I've never made a, like a roux like this before. So I'm hoping that this is good. And it says to just kind of whisk it all together until it's like a thick, almost paste like. I'm hoping this is good. Okay. Now I'm going to slowly add in one cup of my milk as I'm stirring. We are gonna keep stirring this until it gets to like a thick consistency with that roux that we made. And we're gonna also prepare our ranch. You wanna get a half a cup of ranch ready, so I'm gonna let this sit while I get that ranch ready. All right, it's starting to thicken. So we're gonna remove it from the heat. I'm gonna set it on the side here. 
me turn you guys and we're gonna add in our ranch I'm hoping this is good never done a recipe like this so stir in your ranch Okay, so now we're gonna add our three cans of chicken. And I'm gonna season this. I've never used canned chicken before, so I'm kind of nervous. Um, I'm gonna season the chicken after I get it put in the pan. So I'm just gonna add it. This looks kind of gross. Okay, I'm gonna spread it all over the bottom of, of the pan. And I'm gonna season with some garlic and herb. I got this from Dollar Tree, um, and I really like this seasoning, so I'm just gonna go ahead and season all of the chicken. Oh, I'm also gonna add some pepper and just a little bit of salt because where this was canned chicken, it does already have salt in it. So we don't wanna add too much, but we're gonna be nice with the pepper. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss this up in the pan to get everything good and marinated together. And if you see any like really big chunks, just try to mesh them all out. I've never used canned chicken, like I said, so this is new for me. We're just gonna evenly distribute that chicken on the bottom of the pan. Next, we're gonna add our roux. So I'm just gonna kind of mix it up a little bit and then we're gonna just spread it over the top of this chicken. And then I'm gonna also mix this together as well. That way the tater tots can soak in and get all this goodness as well. We're gonna add the tater tots all through the casserole. We're gonna kind of line them up. And we're gonna use the whole bag. Oh, 
Okay, so now the tater tots are all lined up in the pan. I'm just going to take my Colby Jack. It calls for shredded cheddar, but I think that's what I'm going to use on the top. I'm going to use this whole bag. It only calls for one cup, but I like cheese, so I'm going to sprinkle the whole two cups on top of the um, tater tots. So we'll just dump the bag and then disperse it evenly. And this is going to go into your 425 degree oven for 20 minutes. And then we're going to have to remove it, add the bacon, and then add it on in the oven for an additional amount of time. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Okay, so now that our casserole is in the oven, we're gonna work on the chick, I mean on the bacon. So I'm gonna take my Smithfield, this is fully cooked bacon, so it's not gonna have to be in the oven as long. Um, but I'm gonna take this bacon out, and we're just gonna put some crumbles in a bowl. And we'll get it ready for whenever we take our casserole out of the oven. Looks really good. It's nice and bubbly. We're going to add our bacon and then some more shredded cheddar cheese on top. Put it back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so I just pulled the casserole out of the oven. This baked for 20 more minutes. So now I'm just gonna let it sit for probably 10 minutes or so and we're cooking potatoes on the side for my dad so as soon as the potatoes are done we will do a taste test um all right so here's what it looks like and i have just a little bit of mashed potatoes i'm gonna try it we're gonna see if it's good i hope it's good never had canned chicken before so i'm gonna try the inside Cheers. That's what it looks like. Bottoms up. Not bad. Mama, taste it and tell me what you think. I actually really like it. I'm gonna try a part with the tater tots and cheese. You try the top first. The bottom. Don't taste like tuna. Mm-mm. I like it. Tuna? Huh? Does it taste like tuna? No. Pretty good. Pretty good. Actually. Mm -hmm. You like it? Out of ten. An eight. Yeah. Alright, so that is it. If you guys make this, please let me know in the comments. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, stay cool and be you. Bye.